popularity I'm still f***ing boss, so it's a burden Everything I serve it like a bird like Russian, Dutch, and German Flow that make me nervous In that Tuesday wagon, 22 what is up all my guys and goddesses and welcome back to the channel where we spend out the love positivity and happiness and that's on what that's on period you guys so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to download mods and how to download custom content because i'm sure we get new simmers every single day who don't know really how to download things like that and where to put stuff um to make it pop up in your game i'm sure there's always somebody out there having trouble so i decided to make this video for you to help you so if you want to know how to download some mods and some custom content please keep watching so before we get into the video i would just like to say please go ahead and follow me on tumblr i repost all of my cc and mods and traits and things like that um on my tumblr for you guys to see what i have in my game so if you want to just come on by and follow me and check out my tumblr okay so the very first thing you're going to need to download mods and cc you're going to need something to be able to unzip files or folders when you download them sometimes you will download things and they will show up zip um in my game they show up with this little thing on it right here but that's because i have this particular um unzip program but if you want to use a different one whatever um i use winrar which um a lot of uh people who have pc use winrar if you are on a mac you can use something different i used to use something called files um i think for max um if i don't i don't really remember at this moment but if i can i will insert a picture of what i used when i had a mac just to help y'all out too because i know there are not a lot of videos for mac users as well so i'm just going to use this video to help both of you <laughs> but mac is a little easier once you download that file it's easier to open it i think it's called open it's either called open file or it's called zip okay for macs um but for pc i use winrar and there's another thing called i think seven files or seven zip or something you can use which there's an um my friend meet games she made a video and she uses something different called seven files or seven zip or something like that so if you guys want to check her video out if you want to use that or if you've already been using that and you're confused use watch her video which will be an icon above as well as description below um but me i'm going to download winrar so you can download the newest version of winrar which will be right here so you don't have to go through all of this this is the newest version it's the 64 bit or if you need to you could do the 32 bit so you'll just click it you do not have to pay for one more if you do not want to so you can literally just download it if you want to and as you see it's downloading here in the bottom left corner so once you once it's done you'll just open it and it'll ask you if you wanted to change the device the device or whatever you'll say yes you can install leave all of this where it is okay and just hit okay when Ryan has been successfully installed to the folder programs when Mar use settings command or whatever okay so done so it is installed when Ryan is finally installed i'm already had it installed but i mean i it, i had to I, I updated it okay so yes i already had it installed or whatever but that is just to further help um, I just I needed to update it anyway. I haven't updated it in, in since I got this computer. <laughs> but yes, from Winmar, now you can go ahead and start looking for some mods or some CC that you would like. I have two samples to help you guys out. Um, typically, I find all my CC on Tumblr or on The Sims Resource. So I'm going to show you um, something from The Sims Resource because it is easier for beginners. But Tumblr, it's 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 not that hard either. But um, for beginners, we're going to go ahead and look at the Sims resource. So the Sims resource is one of my starter pack <laughs> CC finds websites where, you know, you find good shit on here. But my favorite creator is Camouflage. So we're going to go to Camouflage and download something that I do not have, which I haven't been CC shopping on the Sims resource in a minute. So, <laughs> so we're going to pick something that I really, really like that I kind of want. This dress is really, really nice. Um, so I'm just going to hit download um i have like a vip um thing uh, i pay for a vip for the sims resource but if you do not when you click on the thing it's gonna take you to it's gonna open somewhat like this right and then you'll have to scroll and then you can hit download and then you'll wait 10 seconds and it will download for you okay it'll just you know download automatically and come down there 
for the download. Um, but if you have the VIP, you can just click on it and download it just like how I did. Um, I'm going to download like, uh, let's download a couple more things just because it's because it's there and I don't have it in my game and I feel like I'm already CC shopping. So why the hell not? But <laughs> yes, so that's how you download mods. You just download it and I'm going to show you where to put it in your game in a second, but you just download it. And then, um, from there, I'll show you in a second what to do with it again. I'm still going crazy. Okay. Yeah, I'm done now. <laughs> So I'm also going to show you how to download a mod. So this is a mod by Kawaii Stacy. She is a really, really good mod creator. Um, she has a lot of mods you can choose from. The biggest one for everybody would probably be the Slice of Life mod, but that's uh, a mod where it has a lot of folders um, <laughs> and I also already have it in my game. But yeah, there are a million videos out on Slice of Mods. If you want to check that mod out, go ahead and look at them. But for this purpose of this video, I'm going to download a mod that I do not have, which is a Mochi Fridge mod. So it says now your sims. So always read the description um, that they give you for any mod you want to download. Always read the description. Um, and for CC, always check and see if it is high poly. Okay. Uh, my friend Meet Games always stresses that high poly can make your game go slow. It can make your game slower. The more polys, you, you know, like the more the CC has a high poly, it can make your game slower. So please don't forget to read their description as well. Mine just says high quality. Um, all LEDs are going to use it on very high settings. See, so if you feel like it's going to be crap in your game because you don't use high settings, then, you know, just be mindful of that. So just look at the description for every single piece of CC, every single piece of mod. I mean, every single mod you put in your game. Okay. But anyways, for mods you definitely need to read description so you can figure out how to work them how to find them and things like that because they always give you the rundown on how to do that stuff in the descriptions but now your sims can eat delicious mochi with the new mochi fridge you can eat cook for flavors so these are the flavors they show you exactly what it's going to look like and all that stuff and sometimes they tell you where you can find it um and what you get basically they're telling you what you get with the mod so for kawaii stacy she has an early release thing which will lead you to patreon and this one will lead you to a public release so you'll just click the download public release and then we'll just download it and if you're doing this with me then you know this is helpful and as you see it came up with the renoir thing right there so we're going to figure out how to do that in just a second so i'm going to switch over to my mods folder and my downloads folder to show you how i put it in my game okay so typically when i am putting mods in my mods folder i typically like to have them side by side so in order to do that i will just have open up my mods folder which to oh to get to your mods folder for the sims 4 follow me here if you're lost you're gonna go to doc if you're on a pc but i think it's, it's the same way on mac too you're gonna go to documents you're gonna go to electronic arts you're gonna go to the sims 4 and then here you should have a mods folder if you do not have a mods folder you either deleted it or it's probably not showing up in your game so just um try to restart your game like exit if you're in the game re exit the game go open back up the game if not make the mods folder but you need to make sure in your mods folder you have this resource that cfg file always in there don't ever mess with that don't ever touch it don't ever um delete it just leave it alone okay but yes, this is what your mods folder should look. I mean, your game should look like uh, minus the last exception files. <laughs> but anyways, so you'll open up your mods folder. And if you have your mods folder organized like so or any different than this, um, it helps a lot. OK, you it's really not that good to have a terrible to have a mods folder with just everything everywhere because you'll never be able to find anything. So try to organize your mods folder as best as you can i have an entire video on how to organize my mods folder or how i organize my mods folder um which i'll have in the description box below as well as the i card above for you to check out and a lot more other helpful videos and stuff like that as well but the one for the mods folder is very helpful <laughs> so so these right here will be the what's it called <laughs> the the cc for my game so these are all clothes and they're all about camouflage so i have an entire folder in my creative sim folder right here for camouflage cc as you can see so i'm just going to you can either copy it and paste it in there or i like to just highlight them all and drag them all to the folder and they'll move in that folder so 
normally they'll they'll be highlighted but uh only when the folders open so you can see but they're in there so yeah because once they move from here they're going there so next we are going to um download the mods i mean we're gonna uh put the mod in the game so basically what i did to open it up to unzip it you can right click it and say extract files and you can send it to where you want to send it me personally i just double click it to open it and it's open it's unzipped it's open <laughs> and i make a completely new folder for a mod for if it's a mod that stands alone i make a completely new folder for it. as you can see these are all kawaii stacy's mods right here they all have ks on the side they're all kawaii stacy's mods so i'll just use it and put ks and we'll just name it mochi fridge mochi fridge um i couldn't space it out but whatever and and i spelled wrong <laughs> and i'll open it up and i will copy and paste everything in there or drag it all right so it's in the folder mochi flavors you can also open up this folder and put it in there so let me minimize this really quickly so you can also open up the folder that it came with and put it in there if it makes you feel better sometimes it works like with the folder in there sometimes it does not so i'm just gonna open it up just to make sure it works and now all the flavors are in there because that was just the folder for the flavors but all the flavors are in there and so is the fridge and so is the menus and moodlets so now that all of my my cc and my mods are in my mods folder in my mods folder not in my tray folder not in my saves in my mods folder only then and only then can you start up your game <laughs> okay, okay so um i forgot to mention in my video when i was recording it that when you uh after you download the mods and put them in your folder and you start up your game you need to go to options you need to go to game options and then you need to go to other and then you need to make sure that you have enabled custom content and mods and also enable script mods so to do that all you do is click it and make sure it has these two green checks and then you know you'll be able to um have your mods in there and then you would just need to restart your game just make sure you do that before you say that it's not working in your game or you don't see it coming up in your game make sure you enable your custom content and mods and make sure you enable your script mods so that you'll be able to see it come up in your game and then you'll just restart the program like restart sims 4 and then you should be able to see it. okay so we are in game and i'm gonna i'm gonna start with the created some item first that we had so i'm just gonna go ahead and turn on all of my custom content because <laughs> i have a lot and <laughs> so we're gonna try to find the shirt that it was it was a couple of shirts and outfits by camouflage and typically they're all in the same spot so i'm gonna try to just see okay this shirt was new and see it is in my game it is functioning fine sometimes this little clipping thing right here be happening because of the skins i have on my sims but i don't care <laughs> so that is one of the shirts that i got and i think the rest was like a dress or so okay so i found one of the dresses that i downloaded which is this one from camouflage again has all the different swatches cute cute i'm a fan this was the number one i was supposed to be just downloading just this one and i i'm really really feeling this one i think i'm gonna leave it on my girl because i'm feeling it i mean she's supposed to be a thotty oh but here's this one too oh wow i love the little cow theme they got going for themselves cute this is cute well, now we're gonna hop in game so that i can show you guys no i'm not gonna leave this one but um, so i can show you guys what um the let's see if the mod works okay so i am back in game and we're gonna try to see if this mod works the one that we downloaded with the uh, if we have a floating connect four over there <laughs> the mochi fridge so we're gonna go and see if we can find it so i was getting ready to type in mochi but it's, i stopped at c and it has it right there you'll just click it 
and the mochi fridge look how cute it is so cute and you can change the color to any swatch i'm gonna do pink because as you see my girl is really into pink and we're gonna click on the fridge and just like the picture said for the mod it has eat and serve so we're gonna eat a mochi mochi whatever it is and my favorite flavor of anything is strawberry so yeah so i'm gonna have her come over here and eat a mochi 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 whatever it is oh she got her face mask on yes sis also this house i got off the gallery well off the what's the name Ooh, girl let me see let me put my walls up and girl let me see you eat that mochi mochi thing uh, oh twerk. girl don't twerk. understand eat eat oh and she's eating it so as you see the mod is downloaded everything is working the cc is in the game i just showed you guys how to do both at the same thing on time so <laughs> if this video was helpful for you or to you please like and share this video to anybody who needs the help and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below and hit that bell notification so you'll be notified when i post another video and i will have a lot more helpful videos in the description box below for you guys to check out and i will see you guys in the next video or live stream okay guys oh she got a favorite flavor i like really like this but i wish i could eat it every day yes stop period says strawberry is late but yeah okay bye my haters give me clarity and popularity i'm still boss it's a burden